Now they're moving up quite well from the outside. Uh, National Image from New South Wales brings the runners up. Whirly Dream coming up alongside him. Then We Are Chief moving up. Kylie's Hero, which has drawn three, is pacing smoothly. Rufus Youngblood coming up near the gate in two. And the inside runner is Empire Fella from Victoria. Oh, Almeida Boy's broken up on the back row. And he's going to lose about 50 metres. They come down towards release point and they're off and racing now. And Whirly Dream's under the whip in a bit to get the lead. And he might cross, although Kylie's Heroes accelerating on the inside. It's a great tussle for the lead. And the veteran Whirly Dream crosses to the front in front of Kylie's Hero. Moving up on the outside, National Image. And then Rufus Youngblood, one wide. Back on the fence, Empire Fella. Then we own a chief and a length and a half. All a dream on the fence and a three quarters of a length, Whitby Timer. And about three lengths further back behind him, the Cornishman. And there's a about 45 metres to Almeida Boy. Down the back straight, he's able to give the uh, leader a breather now, and it's Whirly Dream in front for Lance Justice, but here's a very fast run by Rufus Youngblood, which is going up to tackle the leader. But Rufus Youngblood is now forced to sit on the outside of Whirly Dream. The old stager on the rail has got plenty of pace, and they were followed by Kylie's hero. And then National Image, one out and one back. A length and a half back on the inside, next Empire Fella. They were followed on the outside by Whitby Timer. All a Dream is bailed up on the rail, making a three wide run from the back now is the Cornishman we are a chief about to get onto its back and Almeida Boy has nearly caught the field they race in for the bell now with about 900 metres left to go and it's Whirly Dream giving a bold exhibition in front, he ran the first quarter of the last mile in 30.5 so the pace is on and it's Whirly Dream the leader past the 800 by three quarters of length Whitby Time has gone up into second spot Back on the inside, Kylie's hero can't get a clear run at the moment. The Cornishman is three wide up around National Image. Back on the fence, Empire Fella. We own a chief out three wide. All the dreams off the fence in the centre, but still in the pocket. And Rufus Youngblood is second last three wide. And the last one, Almeida Boy. Down the back now with 500 metres left to go. And it's Whirly Dream defying them at the moment. Whitby time as a half length back in second position. Kylie's hero is waiting for a run down on the inside. And here comes We own a chief four wide right around the outside. It's gone up around the Cornishman. All the dreams into the clear. Started, he's starting to put in the big strides now. 250 metres left to go. And Whitby Timer has dashed to the front. The Western Australian four-year-old has got about two lengths in front of Weona Chief, the danger. And they were followed back on the inside. Coming home strongly down on the inside. National Image and wider out is all a dream. But Whitby Timer's the leader. And he's holding them at bay. And Whitby Timer wins by just over length. Second place to Weona Chief. Third on the outside. Possibly all a dream from Kylie's hero, which got out late the National Image, Empire Fella, further back Almeida Boy which nearly lost all chance at the start, then the Cornishman, Whirly Dream weakened back to second last and Rufus Youngblood was at the rear of the field. So a sensational win by the Western Australian four-year-old Whitby Timer and a splendid drive by Rod Chambers. This horse dashed clear on the home turn, he put two lengths in them, that's Weana Chief under the whip with about 50 metres to go and uh, right down the outside all the dream came home solidly and look at Kylie's hero weave through close down to the fence to get a clear run but Whitby Timer wins it convincingly in the run of the judge a very smart uh, four-year-old Whitby Timer who campaigned successfully during the Christmas carnival in Western Australia and has scored a very impressive win